Hello, DDP students. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to execute your theme or idea and how to add um, the sort of original concept and idea. This is mine. This is my finished um, automata box right here. As you can see, I fixed uh, the motion joint um, for the um, ruler. Okay, no longer spins with the handle. Um, the Things that I added are moving with the followers and replicating those joints. I chose to do like a water scene, like they're on Lost at Sea here with the sky behind them. So I'm gonna show you how to um, do all of this, okay? So what, what you first need to do is you need to find some images you can work from. So I have already saved these images from Google Images onto my drive and um, I'm ready to work with them, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna start a new thing. Um, let's just save this right away and we'll call this, uh, so you're gonna let me save, save. All right, so we'll just call this um, uh, figure, figure one, I don't know. All right, cool. So you should call it something specific to your own automata box, but I'm going to insert, I'm gonna go to canvas, all right? Now, when we, I'm gonna insert it from my computer. And when we insert, this, we kind of want to pay attention to um, how big we make it in relation to the box. Here's the interruption there. So I'm going to make this um, something like six. All right. Or maybe even, maybe even seven. All right. Okay. I think this is good. It doesn't need to be exact. Um, you could always go back to the original file and um, make it smaller, make it larger, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to create a sketch on this here. Um, actually, what we need to do, especially if it does that, let's go back. Okay, I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to choose the front plane here. And you could also just choose the front plane here. All right. And now what we're gonna do that we have our canvas, we're gonna use the spline tool here to um, create sort of outline around it. And we wanna make sure that we're getting inside the canvas box where the red line is, that's important. And I'm just gonna get the parts that I want um, don't worry if the outline really isn't to your liking. We can kind of um, fudge this so the lines are a little tighter. And I'll show you how. Okay, so these all have anchors. And I think this is like really sloppy here. I'm just going to press OK. So now we can start to play with some of these anchors and uh, move some of these dots around. So things are a little more fit and... Um, more like the selection that is a little more custom to what we're doing here. Okay, I won't go too, too much into it, but just so you know that um, you could definitely go in and start to alter the space here. Okay, you can even do the whole selection. All right, let's just say this is what we want. We're gonna finish our sketch. We're going to extrude this. Um, what I suggest doing is because of the hole we're going to make, um, it should be maybe a negative 0.4 or five, okay? And we're just gonna go with that. Uh, we now have this here, but I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the canvas right here and we just are left with the shape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to insert, but instead of canvas, I'm gonna go decal, all right? So I'm gonna choose the same thing again, my boat pick and choose the face of this. And let's face forward, okay? And we're just going to sort of fit this into the shape. We know that it already fits. We just have to sort of make sure that it does. 
Okay. Cool. I like that. All right. I'm just going to go with this. Hit that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. We are given these planes here. And what we want is this plane here that's going to correspond with the bottom here. We're not able to create a sketch on the bottom. It's rounded and it won't grab. So I'm going to choose this face here. Um, actually, I'm sorry. It's That's not what we want. What we want to do is we want to go to and create an offset plane. That's what we want to do. So we want to choose that that face here and we want to move that down so it's just beneath the bottom of our cutout all right so let's see here um let's try 30 okay cool that looks great so i'm going to start a sketch on this offset plane here all right let me zoom in I'm going to snag this here and I'm going to make a hole that is 1.875. Oh, so let's see, 0. 0.1875. Set that. All right, finish my sketch. This is going to be the same um, diameter as the follower rod. We're going to extrude this now. Okay, and let's take a look at this. I'm going to go all the way good way through. Bam. And then we have, oh, do not have this hole. Let's see here. Huh. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's give it a little bit of space, okay? I think I was maybe too close to it, and when it's touching, it's it has a different effect. So I'm going to create a sketch. I think it's going to work on this here. I don't mind when mistakes happen. They give me an opportunity to correct them. Point one eight seven five. Cool. We're going to finish our sketch. We're going to extrude it. That looks like it's gonna work. All right, so what we learned is we need a little bit of distance between the offset plane and the bottom, all right? And we have our hole here, that's what we want. We're going to save this, okay? We're gonna close it. And uh, let me open up a different assembly. So we're going to find our Sim Simpsons. This is it, the figure. We're going to insert that into our current design. OK, here it is. Is it orientated correctly? It seems to be. Cool. So let's, uh, let's apply an assembly joint. We're going to put it like this and we're going to zoom way in. All right. Now we're looking for a very particular where we what we want is to see like the this uh, tube that goes through it. What did I do here? Let me get back to where we were. OK, there we go. Let's get more of a top view. There we go. There it is. See that tube right there? That's what we want. Okay. Get that whole hole. And then we're going to go to the top of the follower rod. Let's go way in. And that's going to plop right on. We can then gonna sit it right on top of follower rod like this. And you can bring that down. However, until the, the stick pokes out, I guess. Let's just set it. All right. And let's animate our joint. 
and you see that that's all working together. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so that's how you would do something like that. Um, for like the background and all that, what I would do is I would, in another assembly, create um, something that is roughly the same size. So I'm gonna choose this here. I know that the, the length of my box is 8.5 here and for the height, let's do like six. All right, I'm gonna do 0.5 or 0.25, it really doesn't matter. I'll just do 0.25. I'm gonna save this as my back. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my assembly um, let me uh, close, actually, let me close that file. So it, let me get rid of this here. Get rid of that. Okay. So now let's go to our back. Good. Going to assemble this. We don't want a flat target. We want a target like that. Cool. Now we're going to go to the top of the box and we're going to find the target, which is usually in the middle. Okay. We're going to slide this back till it's flush. Let's get a little bit of a top view. Here we go. So let's just nudge this. Maybe it's 4.3. That looks almost good. Let's try 4.35. All right, that works for me. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to insert, decal, we can also do canvas. I don't think it really, I don't think it really matters. Uh, I'm just gonna go with decal. We're gonna find our, what we want on there. Okay, maybe it does matter. Okay, so I wanna go to um, insert. I'm gonna try canvas this time. Uh, this is, you know what, maybe because now that I've assembled it, um, it's now a component and not a face. So let's try this again without it being assembled. Huh. Okay. Let's try decal then. If that doesn't work, what we'll have to do is, okay, I am not getting this to work. So what I'll do is this, I'm going to go back here. Okay, and I'm just gonna do it in the original file. 90, and um, you know, when something doesn't work, it gives me the opportunity to learn why. So we're going to move this up. I like that, we're just gonna hit okay. All right, cool, I'm gonna save this as it is, and let's go back here, so. All right, I'm going to find that back here. I'm going to delete that. 
there seems to be some sort of problem with it. And maybe that is what is the problem. I'm not really sure, but that should have worked. All right. So that, um, that message told me that there was something corrupted about the file. Okay. So I'm just going to go insert this. And then of course, we're going to do the same thing where we assemble the joint. Right, and there you go. So obviously you can do the same thing as we did um, with the backing to something in the front. You can do something else on this cam, but um, that is how that is done. And um, again, you should have been able to insert the decal um, canvas in this file, but um, not everything works perfectly all the time. Anyhow, um, that's how it's done. And that is the end of our CAD um, automata. So this should take you the whole rest of the way. All right, can't wait to see how it looks.